Well, CIS Superstar, as you're gonna say. Roger, gonna be playing Lena. We have uh, Ramsey, he's gonna be playing his Magnus middle lane. We have no one. Does have the Magnus big charges. And uh, oh, we do get a kill here on the Spectre. Very, very good kill there. But uh, yeah, has to be careful. Has boots, and uh, unfortunately, he doesn't have boots. So, yeah, so Nico could be in a lot of trouble. Here comes the skewer. The shockwave is there. Ramsey scores his third kill of the game. Walking away very low in health, but finally, so Nico gets the kill on Roshka. A good old revenge kill. Ramsey's has skewer, so he could look to poke at Sonico, but Sonico's baiting this with the magic wand. But I think he's just waiting for another wave coming out here. Death left the stick. Is he going in? Yeah, he's going to try for the skewer. He does find it. Is that going to be a kill to Sprout? Oh, it's going to be missing here, blocking his escape. But Ramsey's, if he gets this kill, it's going to be crystallized if he gets this kill on Ramsey. Wave goes out. Please up the creep wave quite a bit. Oh, here comes the Han looking for FN on the bottom lane. He does poof away, but Spectre does keep the tagging onto him with the dagger. So very nice way to trek out a PL. Goes into Crystallize. Okay, I thought he was gonna repair a tower. But it does look like they're gonna gank onto the Lena now. There's the overgrowth stops her from TPing away. And now they're gonna be punching her. Roots her as well. LSA completely airballs no one. Meanwhile, snipes out magical in the middle lane. They get the Lena. That's nice. But it's a one for a mid laner. It's gonna be piecing away here. But as pro, they have that Lena coming in. This is trouble. Sprouts him up. Oh, there's the LSA missing. The sleep coming out. Good use of that. Good use of that, uh, oh, well, sleep transfer. Roshka gonna come in from the front there and actually snipe out that Lena from the wrong way. And Solo gonna fall as well. They're caught on the wrong side of the enemy territory. Mm, I'm not sure they smell each other at this range. Can you not smell it? Oh, there's the overgrowth. Roots them all three down. And now Magnus is unable to do what he does best. There's the roll on in. He doesn't actually get enough range for that RP. And now the dagger is coming in as well. Great initiation from Na'Vi. They even have the Reaper set. Good sleep here. And the counter RP is going to keep Ramses alive. Is he? Is he going to go down? He's not going to take great use of that sleep here from Solo. Keeps them alive. And now Na'Vi gets the table turned on them. But we have a Spectre with a Relic. Still going to be running down. We even snipe the Necrophos with FN to do a Roshan. Very bold, or is it just the trap out here? Solo is gonna get spotted out. The Sprout, very unfortunate use of those trees. Not gonna be able to lock down Solo as much as they would like. And now, they are gonna trap up this TA. A lot of DOT here. The Root comes out again, and the heal going out onto the TA. There's a lot of mana burn. They have to be careful. The Horn has been deployed there. Gonna slow things down a little bit, and it looks like Sonico will be taking a spill here. Sap from Solo. And uh, the Reaper Scythe is about ready. Solo will have to watch himself. Gets a chain. Uh oh, there's the Reaper Scythe, maybe? Nope, there's gonna lose mana. And there you go. He's gonna get brought down. Meanwhile, another hero going down here. The Spectre losing his life to Roger. And uh, the only surviving member is that TA as well as Trient gonna be left to tell the tale. This tier 2 tower will be crumbling. No offense. No, no defense coming out from Na'Vi. And they're about to lose a tier 3 tower. Have to hold the ground here. VP looking for a base breaker right now. Gonna be gay crashing on that middle lane. Looking towards the first set of Raxes. And uh, yeah, those living armor is going to do very little to stop things. And there you go. Oh, okay. We do lose their Lina. That's nice. But they do lose their melee creep. Melee Rex, I mean, the, the range Rex should be falling as well. I don't see any kind of counterplay coming out so that you can stop him from using that RP. Got a lot of uses for that thing. But uh, Sonico is going to fall here. And are they going to try and steal this? It does look like Na'Vi want to get, well, take a gander at this. Yeah, they are. They're going to try. They know Roshan is happening right now. There's a Han with... The, oh, oh, there's trouble. There's the Han. There's the roll on in. There's the overgrowth as well. They root them in. They switch places pretty much. The buybacks coming in here. And uh, we're going to have troubles as Bane buys back. Train Protector also buys back. But Crystallize is down so low. They pin him. He's in the Roshan wall. He goes down. Crystallize actually gets a double kill. FN spills. And the Reaper as well takes out the Ember Spirit. Three heroes lost here on VP. And now the Roshan is low. Can't have Bless hasn't finished the job in time. They're TPing back to this shrine. VP. They do not want to lose this Roshan. Do they get it? There's the Smackdown. Magical takes it up. Oh, this could be the turn of events here. Sonico loses his life. But Solo takes a last minute grip here. Sleeping Necrophos does have the hot stopper. Stop the Bane in his tracks. And Ramses, they buy back into the game. They lose the Ember Spirit. They lose Roshan most of all. Yeah, we'll see if there's a punish coming in. There's the Prophet. There's the Root as well. Is there an Overgrowth? There is an Overgrowth. And he is going down. There's the Reaper Scythe. See ya! 110 seconds on the sidelines. But uh, Spectral late game is uh, extremely powerful. 
against the oh, oh meanwhile temple assassin gets gripped up he's dead and now necrophos in the thick of things is it going to be a fight that navi lose heavily there's that trim protector going to be falling here is that uh, yeah that's the gem on the floor but uh still looking for that gem yeah the gem has been lost so it looks like vp reacquired the gem and specter in trouble as well she is in a corner and well pretty much alone and dead. PL doesn't do too much damage because he has gone for the doppelganger uh, talent so he doesn't do a lot solo. Does he get popped here? Ghost Scepter is there. Nice grip onto the onto the TA. Where is the Magnus looking for him? I'm still not seeing the Magnus. There's the RP. He's gonna finally get deployed but it's away from the fight. Away from all that mess. He got tagged by the Radiant so he wasted that RP already and still looking at that Spectre but so damn tanky. Still at 1800. Still staying safe. Very tanked there. No one is low. He's getting very very low he's getting ticked down by Dion. he's gonna tick down and fn is looking to kill off crystallize but it doesn't do enough damage and the heart is gonna start ticking in healing him up and now uh, crystallize meanwhile still looking towards a chase here oh crystallize does find him but fn has to be very careful has to doppelganger away doesn't want to risk things solo gets smited here from magical and fn healing up from the heart and now he's gonna get slowed he's forced to doppelganger away the arcane rune is gonna be beautiful for him he's gonna run away is there a root no root they need to find a hex they hex him they turn piggy on him is he gonna be able to run away from this he's evading a lot of these hits and now they're still slowing him they see him fn has that arcane rune so this can be spammed every bloody few seconds one second two second poof out he goes jumping in lsa slows them down blizzy oh they catch blizzy so blizzy i mean they catch roger so roger is probably going to be dying here for the sins and uh, he will get brought down lsa is not going to get him out of this mess and navi come out strong they swing they punch they knock down three heroes what is the temple assassin four reflected instances oh no they caught magnus this is bad reaper scythe he's gone magnus down 450 the buybacks are not coming in for a long time three minutes without buyback so they know this is the well this is the goal sign coming out here magical okay interesting choice they're going to get caught out but the radiance burns him down does the aegis gets popped yes he does PL, he's gonna have to stay away from this. He has burnt all the mana out of the Navi squad. It's gonna be tough. 60 seconds without Magnus. Can Burns Pro hold the line? Navi looking real disciplined here. Meanwhile, Sonico being cheeky up top here. Cosplaying as Bulldog, I see. And uh, burning away at that tower. The Treants are making short work of that tower. Spectre is taking damage as the LSA. And there is the Laguna Blade as well. TA in trouble. Pops the cheese. And looks like Solo will be taking a spill here. Blizzy and his hard stop aura is doing damage. But TA coming in there. Don't want to line up for those side blades. 35 seconds without Magnus. They really wish they had Mr. RP now. And not just Mr. RP and power as well. Spectre comes in with the haunt. That's the late game superpower. Buy back into press R. And VP are running for the hills they have buybacks all around magnus still in the fountain reaper scythe is just so annoying so crippling 15 seconds can they keep this rex alive buyback or oh, backdoor protection is holding the line right now but this uh this uh, ember spirit is taking a lot of heat crystallized is forced to buy back ta falls are they going to be able to get this? Magnus is out. Three seconds. This could be big. Navi have to bail the heck out. But these LSAs are just keeping them in place. There's a skewer. Back into the RP. Fuel Scepter. Perfect. From this Necrophos. Going to keep himself alive for just a little bit more. That's the Reaper side though. No. He pops an illusion. Necrophos pops an illusion instead of the real PL. And the PL stays afloat. Meanwhile, Rexes are going to be held here. But I don't think they're going to fall for a parlor trick such as that. Necrophos will have to buy back into this. And there we go. It's a throne race. <laughs> Baby, Virtus Pro. They see a opportunity without Spectre. Looks like they are going to be able to break this one. Can they? We need to scythe this guy right now. Doesn't scythe him. Bane stays afloat. BKB is being used here. Navi forced into the wall. The last tier fall is going to fall. Virtus Pro. Looked like they might have just done it. Necrophos doesn't have his ultimate. How are you going to bring the PL down like that? No way. They actually actually do it are they actually going to do it Blizzy is gonna try its way yep they're already emoting they know this is this Virtus Pro right for the throne straight down the middle Spectre has made a mistake and he will not be recovering from this boom Navi drop 0-1 so Navi will drop game number one there we'll be back for game number two guys so stay tuned Crystallize gonna be playing this Spectre we got Sonico profit support fine shouldn't be a problem 
has stick charges as well. Maybe he's gonna pop that. Oh, wow. Still gonna try and stick it to the enemy. Okay, FN has to be careful. Jukes out the stun. First blood. All right, FN. That one's on you. Meanwhile, Magical finds himself ruined. Oh, sends the illusion back to the middle lane to bait. I like this. I like this so much. Bait with the middle. Illusion rune. And now VP are going to be caught unawares. And here comes the gank around. There's Spectre Dagger as well. Look at him disappear. And now Roger as well. So Nico's low though. But he's just going to use that for the interception. And Roger should not be getting out of this. Should be an easy straightforward one here for the Pugna. A snipe and an immediate port back. Not even grabbing the bounty rune there. Tracking them. And oh, we see Solo. He's coming in for Sonico. Is there going to be Triance? Yep, going to deploy Triance. Trying to absorb some damage. The dagger's coming out. All right, that's a kill. The Han's going to come out now. They're going to trap the Wisp. And there's a stun. Only landing on the Wisp. Yeah, good sleep once again. Solo, very good on these sleeps. Going to, yep, going to puff up the Wisp. And yep, gets the kill. It's not going to be a relocate. And uh, he will get chopped down there by the Reaper Scythe. And that's kill now for Na'Vi. 5-1 now. Na Homing missile finally getting deployed here. Blizzy gonna get stunned up, but no real harm to come out of it. Oh, magical. They see this. They see this. They gotta punish. They're going for the punish. There's the veil. There's the decrep. There's the blast as well. Look at the damage. Holy crap. Oh man, he just vaporized. And now Sonico gotta be doing a lot of damage here. Oh, there's the sprout. Not so sure about that sprout, but there's the de uh, decrep. Doesn't do enough. The haunt comes in, but without radiance. Not gonna be doing much here. Is there a dagger? Not much they can really do about this. Blizzy gets slapped up. The creep wave is going to ignore him for a while. But uh, Solo, going to have to be uh, a little bit careful here. He's going to get gripped up. There's the stun. There's the lockdown with the spikes. Not enough mana. No one gets the kill. And nice use of those balls there from the Wiz. Going to do some damage. Crystallize. Going to cut out here. FN rolling in. But the dagger is still slowing him down. Crystallize going to walk himself out of this one. Does he have calling blade? He will cut himself through the tree. And the earth shot could be there, but Chu does have the impale to stop things. Roger is low. There's the dagger as well. The spike coming in. Are you gonna try this? Oh, there's the sleep. Nice smack there onto the Nice smack there onto the Nyx Assassin, gets him killed, and now Magical is caught out, no Decrepify as well, losing his life, and now VP are in the driver's seat, they're looking for the kills, there's the call down as well, looking for the smackdown to crystallize, he's gonna juke into the trees, TP away, is he gonna get out, oh, he got out of there, and now Blizzy back here to find a kill here onto FN, there is a tower shot, another tower shot, the right click does the job there, gets himself marked out, that's a decoy, that's the end as well. The boat is going to land though. That's going to be a nice one again. But a stun does land onto the Kunka. But now here comes the Han looking towards Solo. Solo's in trouble. There's the call down. Going to get tagged. Deck. Look. Ooh, Solo gets brought down. Okay, there you go. Pakna loses his life as well. That's two for one so far. But Pakna buying back into the game. Not sure how good that is, but that's true. Pick up the bounty room for his team before going down at the very least. As the spikes ready. Yep, he's going to stun them up. Lines them up. A perfect stun as well. And, uh, okay. No one. I'll get caught up. Relocate coming in here with the gyrocopter as well. Oh, Crystallize runs out of the dagger and he gets brought down. Greed. Greed. We talked about Na'Vi overextending. And there we go. Overextends and gets brought down. Reaper Scythe should be a simple one. Yep, very straightforward. Chops him down. Observer Ward. <laughs> very nicely done there. Oh, here we go. We're going to have a fight up top now. It's going to happen. The stun going to be airballing here from the Nyx Assassin. The haunt is going to be missing as well. And Rage has been used. The Reaper Scythe is ready. And looks like Ursa. Oh, gets slapped up here by Solo. But still not going to be doing much. Uh, except for reducing that uh, cooldown timer uh, debuff. But now Nyx Assassin going to get caught out here. He's going to throw off that stun. Locks down Ayo as well. Gyrocopter Solo still staying alive in spite of all this. Sleeping himself. Just causing so much trouble. Even snipes the Prophet on the way out. But man... Solo, the magician, keeping himself afloat in spite of everything. Ramses deploys the BKB. He is going to start being a little bit unforgiving in terms of the damage output. Ayo keeping him alive in the back lines. And now Blizzy in trouble. Gets axe marked backwards. And there's a chop here from the Kunkka. Ready to go. A little bit more. Another miss on the stun. That's going to be Ramses. Well... That's going to be Ramsey saying, okay, free kill. Easy peasy. There's the BKB as well. They deploy that one. Uh, get a free kill where I can. The BKB, maybe a little bit unnecessary, but they're going to try for it anyway. Oh, Blade Mill. I like that. 
Gonna try and be cheeky, but he's gonna lose his life as a result. There's the haunt though. Gets the Reaper Scythe down. No, gets a snipe. Ramsey's falls. Bates in well there with Blizzy. Even as the gold Stroud to keep FN at bay. But the first hit bash. Oh. BKB all available. Oh, this could be a nice fight here. Solo once again. Gonna be sacrificial lamb. And this time he's not getting out of there. He buys back into the fray. The IO is in a lot of trouble as well. The Reaper Scythe is not enough. There's a spike down as well. Are they gonna go and kill him? Crystallize. He's trying to do it. The dispersion is he gonna do him in? Oh. Oh, Roger. That's the blast. Gets him. But double BKB is applied here. And Blizzy is just out of control. Well played. Well played. New meta, says Roger. And uh, yeah, a grab up here onto the partner as well. Trying to steal that with the earth shot. But Ramses shoots him down with his machine gun. Needs that control tool. He's the only real stun there on the team. Navi, oh, Ursa removes the Pakna, and now here comes the hunt. They're gonna try things out. They're gonna stop the stun onto the Wisp, but again, another sleep here from Solo. Keeps Roger alive, and now the boat comes in. The rum keeps everything hunky dory. Spectre gets brought down. The buyback needs to come in now, and they still barely punch through the armor of Virtus Pro. Aegis, Cheese, still up. GG says that's a part profit, and down they go. Navi dropped the game. 2-0, but as bros staying ahead there, the...